Breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. IPOP cautioned media against reporting that Kanu jumped bail. IPOP cautions media against reporting that Kanu jumped bail. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, stay tuned as I read today's news. The indigenous people of Biafra, Hypop, has warned media platforms against continued reporting that its leader, Mazi Unamdikanu, jumped bill. In a statement issued yesterday by its spokesman, Comrade Ima Powerful, the group said such reports would amount to publishing falsehood and distorting facts. He said the warning followed an Abia State High Court judgment of January 19, 2022, in the fundamental rights suit Kano instituted against the federal government and seven other defendants. The group recalled that the court indicted the federal government and the Nigerian army for military invasion of Kanu's Afara Uku Ibeku home in September 2017. In its judgment, the court held that Kanu proved that the federal government violated and threatened its fundamental right to dignity of human person personal liberty, and life. Apple further stated that it would, therefore, be wrong to continue to claim that Kanu jumped bill, adding that it will also amount to contempt of court to report that Kanu jumped bill. He warned that IPOP would not hesitate to take legal action against any media platform that continues to push such falsehood, arguing if Kano truly jumped bail, a court of competent jurisdiction would not have ordered the federal government and the army to pay him one billion naira compensation and apologize to him for violating his rights. IPOB is not an unlawful organization and will not be because Nigeria court said so and we will not take it lightly with anybody that tries to give us a fake identity. The indigenous people of Biafra, IPO, has warned media platforms against continued reporting that its leader, Mazi Unamdekanu, jumped bill. In a statement issued yesterday by its spokesman, Comrade Ima Powerful, the group said such reports would amount to publishing falsehood and distorting facts. He said the warning followed an Abia State High Court judgment of January 19, 2022, in the fundamental rights suit. Kano instituted against the federal government and seven other defendants. The group recalled that the court indicted the federal government and the Nigerian army for military invasion of Kano's Afara Uku Ibeku home in September 2017. In its judgment, the court held that Kano proved that the federal government violated and threatened its fundamental right to dignity of human person, personal liberty, and life. IPOP further stated that it would therefore be wrong to continue to claim that Kano jumped the bill, adding that it will also amount to contempt of court to report that Kanu 
jumped build. He warned that IPOP would not hesitate to take legal action against any media platforms that continue to push such falsehood, arguing if Kano truly jumped bail, a court of competent jurisdiction would not have ordered the federal government and the army to pay him one billion compensation and apologize to him for violating his rights. IPOB is not an unlawful organization and will not be because Nigeria court said so and we will not take it lightly with anybody that tries to give us a fake identity. The indigenous people of Biafra IPOB has warned media platforms against continued reporting that its leader, Mazi Unamdekano, jumped bail. In a statement issued yesterday by its spokesman, Comrade Emma Powerful, the group said such reports would amount to, publish, to publishing falsehood and distorting fact. He said the warning followed an Habia State High Court judgment of January 19, 2022, in the fundamental rights suit Kano instituted against the federal government and seven other defendants. The group recalled that the court indicted the federal government and the Nigerian army for military invasion of Kano's Afara Uku Ibeku home in September 2017. In its judgment, the court held that Kano proved that the federal government violated and threatened his fundamental right to dignity of human person, personal liberty, and life. I further stated that it would therefore be wrong to continue to claim that Kano jumped bail, adding that it will also amount to contempt of court to report that Kano jumped bail. He warned that IPOP would not hesitate to take legal action against any media platform that continues to push